Good morning. Uh, today we are going to look at the book of Matthew. So if you want to get your Bibles open, uh, we'll jump in here in a second so we can have our time of worship and uh, our time of listening to the word, um, just diving into the scriptures today. So we're going to look in the book of Matthew. Uh, we are going to look at Matthew 19. We're going to start at verse 25. Uh, I kind of want to set the stage for this so you know what's going on before uh, this conversation starts here. Um, so at this time, uh, there was a rich young man that came to Jesus. And um, he basically said, Jesus, what, what do I do to have eternal life? You know, this is kind of a, a loaded question here. And Jesus gives the reply, um, well, you know, you have to follow my commandments. So, um, you know, Jesus lists out all of his commandments uh, that he must follow. And then um, the young man says, well, I I've kept all these. And Jesus basically says, well, you know, that's not really enough. Uh, you have to sell all your possessions and surrender to me um, and follow me. And um, the rich, it never really tells us the result of the rich young man um, and if he did that or not. But the assumption is that he didn't because, you know, that would have been a good story to have if he would have sold all of his possessions and would have followed Jesus and eventually would have become one of the uh, one of the disciples. Uh, but, you know, we don't see that in the story. Uh, it doesn't tell us that in the Bible. And in verse 23, Jesus turns his focus to his disciples and he says to them, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Okay. Um, so uh, the disciples took this information. You know, they were kind of astounded, right? Kind of taken back and uh, like, hey, what's going on here? Uh, so that's where we're going to pick up on our scripture, verse 25, Matthew 25, and uh, I believe we're going to go through verse 29. So if you have your Bibles out and ready, you can follow along. So when the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded and said, then who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, for mortals, it is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, look, we have left everything and followed you, Peter being Peter, right? Uh, what then will we have? Jesus said to them, truly, I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory, you will have followed me and will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left their houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields or my namesake will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and last will be first. For the past few days, I've been um, reading a lot and watching a lot about um, what's being called the American gospel, um, where we in America have kind of been taking the message of the Bible and distorting it for our own purposes, for our own good. Um, you know, almost a prosperity gospel where, you know, if, hey, if you follow the rules, God will bless you and everything will be happy and everything will be fine and, you know, rainbows and unicorns and lollipops. Um, you know, as we can see, that's kind of not happening right now. Um, you know, there are many of us that are faithful, um, that, you know, live the life that God has called us to live, do the things that we're supposed to do, be the people that we're supposed to be in Christ. Um, but guess what? We're all stuck at home, too. Uh, we're all quarantined. We're all still, um, you know, dealing with uh, things that aren't rainbows and unicorns and lollipops. Uh, so we really need to take a close look at um, what the gospel is telling us and you know, take a look and examine how um, the through the lens of the gospel how we inherit that eternal life you know and it's clearly stated right here right how do you how do you get to the kingdom of heaven by following Jesus right um, so we're if we look back at um, 
at our verses here. It says, Truly I tell you, the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated at the throne of glory, uh, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones. Simple. If you want to sit on the throne, if you want to uh, be with Jesus and have eternal life in heaven, then all you have to do is just follow him. So um, today, your song for worship um, is One Day by Cochran and Company, which if you look below uh, in, the, in the comment section, or sorry, not the comment section, if you look below in the description, you will see the link for the song. Um, so enjoy your time of worship today. Really reflect on who you are in Christ and um, enjoy.